infrastructure financing. Government's commitment for investment in infrastructure was reiterated when 103 lakh crore national infrastructure pipeline products were announced. I would also like to inform that about 22,000 crores of rupees has already been provided as support for infrastructure pipeline. On December 31st, if honorable members would recall, the national pipeline consisting of more than 6,500 projects were announced. 22,000 crore has already been provided as support to infrastructure pipeline. This would cater for equity support to infrastructure finance companies such as the IIFCL and a subsidiary which is of NIIF. So two institutions, IIFCL and the subsidiary of NIIF take it. They would leverage it as permissible to create financing pipeline of more than one lakh crores. This would create a major source of long-term debt financing for infrastructure projects and fulfill a long-awaited requirement. Sir, so the IFSC gives city has the potential to become a center of international finance as well as a center for high-end data processing. GIFT IFSC has an approved free trade zone for housing vaults. It already has 19 insurance entities, 40 banking entities. It has also provided for setting up of precious metals, testing laboratories for them, and refining facilities also. With the approval of the regulator, Gift City would now set up an international bullion exchange in Gift City IFSC as an additional option for trade by global market participants. This will enable India to enhance its position worldwide, create jobs in India, and will lead to better price discovery of gold. Sir, in the recent years, there has been a surge in trading volumes of Indian rupee in the offshore financial centers. The government and the RBI has taken various measures to permit rupee derivatives to be traded in the International Financial Services Center at Gift City, Gujarat.